video game collection coordinator and virtual reality coordinator here at the library. So I work with those uh, materials and the people who use them. Uh, my job kind of broadly is to help people use those things. It ends up being a lot more complicated than that, but um, on its face, uh, I connect people to resources and to each other and help them do whatever they're doing. There's a lot of things to love here. The library, you know, atmosphere and ethos are great. The materials in the collections that I work with are really special. Like, a lot of places don't have a, a video game collection at all, let alone a huge one like we have, about 18,000 items. So uh, those are all great, uh, but really, uh, at the end of the day, I'm here for the people. You know, those I get to work with and for, and so both sides of the counter, you know, the folks that I supervise, the people who I help are all of kind of the main thing that I'm here for. Just that we have video games and that we have virtual reality and that we have all this stuff, we have so much stuff that you're not gonna know about unless you look at our website or you come in here and talk to us. That's the main thing, it's just uh, we've got, in addition to the games in the VR, we have 360 cameras, we have you know, all this technology and software and things that people don't normally have access to on their own, and that would be really pricey. So, you know, get in here and explore is, you know, kind of the, the mantra. We have, we have so much stuff, come use it. So much validity to the recreational and mental health value of this stuff that, yes, we can use it academically and we should, we're an academic library, but not to downplay that benefit. Have a community about it, and they do. Um, and helping them is, you know, part of my favorite things. One, you're not gonna like it, but read the syllabus. There's good stuff in there. You can skip the boilerplate, you know, refer back to it. It's there for you to know what resources you have, right? I'm all about pointing out the resources. So like, read that. I know it's annoying, but read your syllabus. Tip two, this stuff, the library, this campus, the profs, you know, the whole administrative structure, all of it is here for you. It's here for students, you know what I mean? Like, use that. Don't feel like you don't deserve it or something, that was my problem, you know. Uh, take advantage of these resources, like that's why they're here, especially within the libraries. The more you use our stuff, the more we can have that stuff. Uh, we can increase our budgets when we have more use, we can have more to use, you know, it, it all fuels itself as a cycle. So take advantage of the resources, especially the library, you know, get in here and, uh, and just see what we've got, don't be shy. And then on that same point of don't be shy, tip three, each other. The resources, you know, in one another, uh, you might not recognize as as being valuable, but they're there, and they are just because they're a given. You know, that other people are around doesn't mean don't use them, right? This is a, a time in college where you've got this proximity to others and this, you know, good opportunity to mix it up and share ideas and try stuff, and you know, even if it's weird, like you'll learn and it'll be cool. Officially on the door, it's the Digital Multimedia Center at Vincent Voice Library, uh, Robert G. Vincent even. And so that covers the video games, the film, uh, audio collections that we have, the software and some other types of items. But it also, this area that we're standing in, so it's a service point and it helps people access all that stuff, but it also has some behind the scenes stuff going on. We have digital information services up here, scanning and kind of doing a back of house operation. So there's really a lot uh, kind of happening, even if the window into the area's uh, a narrow desk. The obvious one is the video game collection, and the virtual reality, the things that I run most directly are the easiest things to share, but there's so much more. I think one of my favorite resources, you know, beyond the immediate stuff itself um, to show people is that we have a finding aid for games. A finding aid is basically something that helps someone find the materials that they're looking for. So in the case of the library catalog, the way that you can filter information to browse is limited, and so a finding aid is going to help you give you more tools to find what you're looking for. So for example, in the case of video game finding aid, search by more data points like uh, genre or number of players or game mechanic uh, is something that we're actually trying to add to that to make it really nice so that people who can't get to the shelves really are able to see the extent of what we have and what they want. We have 18,000 games, but they're not all cataloged and that takes a while. So to tell us what to process so you can use it, there's like a whole thing and you can use it as a finding aid to just know what we have that's available as well as what's not available and you can tell us to make it available. We, for a long time, had games and you'd have to use them here, but now you can borrow games and take them home and uh, play them, you know, in comfort if you've got the right console for them. So, you know, if you don't have the console, we have that here and you can use it. Yeah, uh, so you can 
do all of that, the main way that you find all that stuff is through the catalog. So that's the library website, live.msu.edu. The catalog to me is a finding aid. It's probably the biggest and most important one, but it's like anything else, helps you find what you need. And it's all right there. So you can search, you know, broadly and then kind of filter down for whatever, if you're not sure what you want, or you can search specifically and find, you know, Mario Kart 64 or whatever it is that you're looking for. Everything we have here in the Digital Multimedia Center is closed stacks. So you can't walk around and browse the shelves. You have to use that electronic catalog online. And so that's how it works for everything. So games, movies, laser discs, software, you know, audio files, everything that we have. Uh, some of it's available online and you can listen to the digital repository of audio, for example. So that's kind of the portal to get to it. That's the doorway. So I am pretty easy to find on our website. So that's live.msu.edu. If you look for my name or any of the live guides I've authored about virtual reality or video games, you'll find me that way. Yeah, so library site search or uh, live guide, so whatever you wanna stick my name in Google, whatever, just find my email and, uh, and send me one uh, and I'll happily uh, correspond.